Hello, and thank you for joining me as the Forsyth County Public Library offers a virtual early literacy program for you to do at home. Today I'm going to be focusing on activities for babies ages birth to two years old. As a caregiver, you have the unique opportunity to engage in play with your baby that will foster their early literacy and early language development. The five early literacy practices to keep in mind are talk, sing, read, play, and write. Your baby loves the sound of your voice. And as you go about your day together, if you talk about everything that you're doing, you'll be providing a language rich environment for your baby. The first activity we're going to do today is a bounce. And it's called the toast is in the toaster. So what I'm gonna do is have you sit with your baby facing you. Often in our Books for Babies programs, we have the baby sit facing out because they enjoy, enjoy seeing each other. But we can have some quality one-on-one -on -one time together. So have your baby face you, and we're gonna do a little gentle bounce. The toast is in the toaster. It's getting really hot. The toast is in the toaster getting ready to pop. You'll see a great big smile on baby's face when you do that pop. Let's try it one more time. The toast is in the toaster. It's getting really hot. The toast is in the toaster getting ready to pop. There we go. Next, we're going to do a little tickle rhyme. And this one is called Round and Round the Garden Goes the Teddy Bear. So you're gonna take your little baby's palm and you're gonna use your finger to trace a circle on their palm. Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle under there. And it's not fair unless we do the other side as well. So take your child's other palm, get ready and trace that circle again. Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two step, Tickle under there. <laughs> Another thing we're going to do is use some props. This one, I'm going to use a scarf. Now these are the scarves that we use as props during our programming. But at home, you can grab almost anything will work just as well. You can grab one of your own scarves. You can even grab a dish towel or a cloth diaper, anything. And we're going to play a little peekaboo song. Ready? Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you, I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes. Peekaboo, I see you. You can even let your baby explore the texture of the scarf. Touch their arm their leg, drape it across their body, and you can use them to do the peekaboo as well. Peekaboo, peekaboo. Another prop that you can make at home are shaky eggs. I know you've used these at the library. What I did was I used Easter eggs, which are pretty handy this week, and I put dry popcorn kernels in them but you could use dried peas or dried beans. I put them inside and then I taped around the opening with some colorful washi tape to make shaky eggs. Having your little one hold the egg in their hand and grasp it and progress to shaking, that develops their fine motor skills, which will come in handy later on when they're learning to hold a pencil and learning how to write. Now, when your baby is on the changing table, this is a ripe opportunity, pun intended, for you to provide more of that language rich environment and boost your baby's vocabulary by talking about everything that you're doing. Talk about getting dressed. Talk about the clothes you're putting on. Here's your sock. Look, this sock is pink. Let's put it on your foot. And here's your toes. And now we're going to take your shoe and put on your shoe. See your shirt? It's purple. 
all of those words are sinking in and also body parts. You're going to point out body parts. Here these your knees. Here's your belly. I'm going to boop your nose. Boop. And where's mommy's nose? Boop. And it's also really fun to add a song about body parts. One of my favorites is called A Fly on My Toe. And here's our fly, and it's going to do some buzzing. Zzzz, boop. And it lands on the toe. A fly is on my toe. A fly is on my toe. Hi-ho, just watch me blow. A fly is on my toe. And of course we have to blow it off. Boop. A fly is on my thumb. A fly is on my thumb. Hi-ho, just watch me blow. A fly is on my thumb. Boop. A fly is on my belly. A fly is on my belly. Hi ho, just watch me blow. The fly is on my belly. A fly landed on my nose. A fly is on my nose. A fly is on my nose. Hi ho, just watch me blow. The fly is on my nose. I hope you enjoyed learning some ways to play with your baby at home. And talking is one of the best ways to interact to increase their learning and their language and literacy skills. Thank you for joining me today. Everyone, please stay healthy and well.